Alright, this is going to be part two of my simplex method video. And in this case, uh, we're going to try to maximize the profit function p equals 7x sub 1 plus 8x2 plus 10x sub 3. And it's going to be subject to these constraints x sub 1 and x sub 2, x sub 3 all have to be greater than or equal to 0. And likewise, 2x1 plus 3x2 plus 2x3 has to be less than or equal to 1,000. 1x1 plus 1x2 plus 2x3 has to be less than or equal to 800. Okay, so a couple things I'm going to do here. The first thing I'm going to do is take my take the function I'm trying to maximize, and I'm going to rewrite that so that the right side equals 0, but my p-value is still positive. So I'm going to have to subtract 7x1, so that would give me uh, negative 7x sub 1. We'll have to subtract the middle term, so that'll give me negative 8x sub 2. I'll have to subtract uh, the third term, which will give me negative 10x sub 3. We'll still have positive p on the left side equals 0. The next thing I'm going to do is take my inequalities. We don't have to worry about this x1, x2, x3 greater than or equal to 0. Um, I'm going to take, though, my second inequality, and I'm going to introduce what's called a slack variable. So I've got 2x sub 1 plus 3x sub 2 plus 2x sub 3. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add this new variable, this slack variable. So I'm going to label that as s sub 1. And the idea is that's going to pick up the slack in this inequality. Um, and make it into an equation. So instead of having less than or equal to, it's now go going to become equals to 1,000. I'm going to do the same thing with my other inequality. So we've got 1x sub 1 plus 1x sub 2 plus 2x sub 3. And again, I'm going to introduce a new slack variable in this case. I'll call it s sub 2. And now instead of having less than or equal to 800, this is going to turn into equals 800. Okay, so from this we have to produce our simplex tableau, and this is the thing we're going to start doing row reduction on. So I'm going to label um, my variables. We've got x1, we've got x2, we've got x3, we've got s1, we've got s2, we've also got our value for p, and then we're going to have, um, I'm going to make a little bar for our numbers. Okay, so I'm just going to read off the coefficients. We always, the, the, the equations that have the slack variables, we put those first. So we've got 2x sub 1, 3x sub 2, 2x sub 3, we have 1s sub 1. We don't have any uh, s sub 2s in our first, well, our second equation here now. It came from our first inequality. We have 0ps, and then we're going to have 1,000. Next, we've got 1x1, we've got 1x2, we've got 2x3, we have 0 s sub 1s, we do have a 1 s sub 2. Again, 0 p's equals 800. And now, usually, they'll put a little dash line. I'm just going to make a little solid line here. Um, now we do the same thing. Uh, we put our, our, our function that we were trying to maximize. That goes in the very bottom row, and that's uh, important. Always want to stick that in the bottom. We've got negative 7, we've got negative 8, we've got negative 10, we have 0s1, 0s2, we have 1p, and then we have the value of 0 on the right side. All right, so now we have our simplex tableau set up. The next thing we're going to have to do is start talking about actually uh, putting this in a proper form.